Shield Helicarrier, this is Fury. Hill, are you there? Here, sir. Listen, we've located our silver friend. We'll bring him back to the carrier. Doom has taken off with Loki. That's a bad match. Bad for us, I mean. Can you locate them? We can. Just like you can track me anywhere, apparently. <sighs> They're headed out to sea, sir. Contact Professor X and see if he can spare some mutants to help us track down all of Doom's associates. Yes, sir. Yeah! Oh! Loki and Dr. Doom are heading out over the ocean, possibly looking for more cosmic bricks. We need you to fly out there and find them. What is Brother Loki thinking, associating with this villainous Doom character? Shall pass some sense into him. Take it easy, Hammerhead. We need to find him first. Idea, but it seems to be where the signal is coming from. Shield research submarines are extremely useful for taking the fight to bad guys while underwater. These subs feature advanced tracking equipment, ideal for locating enemies or items of interest. Where exactly are you sending me on my date with Thor? A shield research submarine. Research vessel covered with weapons. Well, that's deceptive labeling. Uh, that is not our research zone. Whoa! Don't tell me. You got here on a really long spider line. Uh, no. You're not the only one that can fly. Compliments of Mr. Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, I could fit you with a rocket-propelled iron suit if you like. Hmm. Sounds... heavy. Yeah, is it like the, the man's Marvel day off? Like the Marvel Superheroes walk yeah, this is the 10th what? level, and I'm kind of glad because it means that there's only 5 of them left. And while this is a fun game, it is kind of hard to play like it all day, and I did play it all day and record it, so I was happy that this one was the last one. <laughs> Actually, no, when you get to the 10th level, it just means you're two-thirds of the way done, and it, it is a fun Switch. game anyway. We'll need some kind of weapon uh, or sharp object to trigger it. All day. So here you play as Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Thor, and I'm trying to remember what the point of this level is. I can't really remember though because I'm being blocked by Batman Arkham Origins because you go after the penguin on the ship in the first stages of the game, and I'm on a ship here going after an enemy. It's kind of similar because the submarine, ship, water, okay. Uh, first thing you need to do is put out the fire, and you need to build this terminal and use it with <clears throat> use it with Iron Man and then move these uh, tubes so the electricity or I guess the water can get transferred correctly 
So just set it so it's flow, uh, flowing left to right, or heck, even right to left. The water will fall down on the fire, then you can use Iron Man's laser ability to break the gold wall. Then you'll have to switch over to Spider-Man and use his Spidey Sense so he can get up here. I think Thor and Iron Man can just fly up, which is why you need Spider-Man to use his Spidey Sense. But uh, get inside here, use Spider-Man's web ability, web slinging ability on the handles to conveniently move down the pipe so the water keeps flowing and puts out the remainder of the fire. It kind of interests me how Iron Man's suit is now magnet-proof, and fire, well, maybe not, yeah, okay, I'm gonna say fireproof, and waterproof, maybe, bulletproof, you know, everything proof, but it can't put out fire. So, I don't know. Anyway, switch on over to Spider-Man once again, and use his web-slinging ability to get the water down onto the fire itself. Now you'll be able to destroy the Lego objects and then build the other Lego object needed to open the door. And this will require Thor's lightning ability, so switch to Thor, push and hold B to charge him up, and then push and hold X next to the switch to charge the switch. So you'll see there it teases you with Captain America's shield, but you don't have Captain America, so that means free play. It's probably a collectible of some sort. There's also a lot of these enemies, and these enemies are extremely annoying because they back up from you, and they just like to... I, I don't like these enemies, they're really aggravating. <laughs> but that's what Thor's Ground Slam is for. It's really useful because you can just go into a group of enemies, toss them all away, and you deal one hit of damage, you do it again, and they all die. And Thor actually has some of the better attacks, I think, because they don't take nearly as long as everybody else's. Spider-Man's attack takes forever, Iron Man likes to fly everywhere when he attacks. It's just, I, I did not like the attacking in this game, it was not as smooth as it could have been. I mean, it was cool, but it was annoying. So here you're actually going to get to control a submarine, and to get the submarine you need to switch to Iron Man and then blow up these silver objects, or these silver crates up here, and then uh, build the terminal for the submarine itself. Or I guess not the terminal, but charge it up with Thor. All of these characters can fly. Uh, Spider-Man can technically fly because he can web-sling everywhere. Uh, so if there's any high place you can't get to, just remember, double tap A, fly up there. And the switch was being really stupid and not letting me charge it. There we go. The crane will give you the box, which you will then have to use to uh, get the submarine. So switch to Spider-Man, use his webs to pull it down. Build the terminal, switch to Tony Stark, and then you get to control it for the brief time that it allows you to. And there's not really much freedom here either. So what you need to do is push those two buttons. There's one on the right side there, and there's one over here on the left side. And the submarine is really weird to control too, because it goes quicker, then it goes faster, and there's some way to make it go up and down. You can get that mini kit if you want to, I just didn't want to... Uh, spend the extra time and then when you're ready to push the switch just ram into it that'll activate it go on over to the other one ram that switch and then the door will open and by the door I of course mean the bridge because I'm getting my steps mixed up uh, so <laughs> go across the bridge use Iron Man's laser ability on the uh, golden chest looking thing there. Build yet another lightning switch for Thor because yet again this game loves making you switch between the characters to 
accomplish something, which, you know, it's a good way to get you to do the character, but as I've said before in previous videos, it's kind of annoying. So as you charge it up, you will stop. Well, I guess it speeds it up and then blows up, so you overload that generator and that opens the door. And you'll be able to walk into the next room. Now for this door, I was actually a little bit surprised that I didn't, you know, that there wasn't a cutscene or a load screen or anything here. It was just a seamless transition into the next area. Normally I expect a uh, kind of a wipe dissolve or something like that, but nope. This one you just walk on in, and this will be a mini boss fight. I forgot what his name was. He's really weird looking. I have never seen this guy before. I, am designed only for conquest. I, I don't even know what his name is. Um, yeah, well, he's weird and he's been made for conflict. So to take him out, just defeat all the enemies that he throws at you. And once you get rid of every single one, he will drop down and you'll be able to hit him. So of course, using Thor is probably the best option just because you can ground slam, knock the enemies off, and if it doesn't knock them off, it does pretty decent damage to them. So he will go around on a rampage, trying to zap you with his laser from his mind, destroy more of his enemies, and then you'll be able to hit him for the first time. This is actually a pretty lengthy mini-boss. Eventually, I guess he overloads himself, and then he drops down here in a second. There we go. So after he does his uh, Molten Fireball attack of death, he will get stunned, and the best way to hit him is just to jump and push X, ground slam, so... Uh, do that two more times, basically. It's <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty recyclable. Of course, probably the best way to kill the enemies would be to switch to Iron Man and then stand in one spot and just rapidly tap X, and that way he will start shooting his guns and then you can turn in the direction you want to shoot and you can take out a lot of enemies quickly. So whether you want to use guns or you want to use Thor's hammer, maybe you just want to use Spider-Man, whatever it takes to take out the enemies, uh, doesn't really matter. So here's the second time when he throws his molten fireballs and then he gets stunned, you hit him with Thor, hit him with whoever else you want take out the final wave of enemies and you can see as they just ah, they back up that is so annoying when you try to kill them and then they just walk away I hate enemies that do that <laughs> so you take out enough he does his laser of death attack and then you gotta take out another wave of his enemies and then I guess they'd be his minions if they were his enemies they wouldn't be helping him And finally, he will be brought down, so hit him for the final time. can separate water molecules. So you get to do a fun little underwater scene which reminded me of Bioshock 2 when you walked underwater in some parts of that game. And here you just have to walk around to the edge of any of, or any edge of the bubble. Do bubbles have edges? It's a sphere. So I guess you walk to the end of the bubble? I don't know. 
Uh, I'll just say Edge, why not? Walk to the edge of the bubble and this, I think her name is Jean, she will follow you and it can be a little bit annoying because she's slower than you are, but just give it enough time and you'll be able to get where you need to go. So, uh, destroy this thing on the left side and then break it open with Thor's hammer. It will create a whirlpool, which strangely doesn't suck any of you in, but does help you by giving you this weird underwater plant to build onto the wall. And then switch on over to Spider-Man to use your Spidey Sense. Spidey sense. Something close by. And then uh, bring down the starfish. I guess it's not a plant, it's a starfish. <laughs> Poor Patrick. And then there will be some underwater enemies to defeat here. But as usual, I just ignore them if I can. So use spider spite or spider man spidey sense again and then pull down these pillars of the ancient underwater utopia known as Atlantis. Great spider man you broke Atlantis. And then uh, smash the window, not the window, the wall open with Thor. I don't really know what the use of that slow motion scene was. Sometimes it makes me wonder if they use slow motion because the game has frame drops at that part So they make it slow so it looks really cool, but it's really because the hardware can't handle it I don't know. Maybe they're just doing it because slow motion is cool <laughs> But it's better than in uh, Lego City Undercover U where there was slow motion every other attack Anyway, so you can see the submarine that you need to get to in the background there and you just need to do a couple more things here, and then a couple more things afterwards, obviously. You can probably see that giant pillar where you have to use Iron Man's ability to uh, knock it down. But for this first one, use Iron Man, use Thor, switch back to Iron Man. If you can even walk there, I don't know. Oh, that's right, the bubble. <laughs> wow, I had that exact same thought there. I was like, why can't I walk there? And then when I was playing this, I thought, why can't I walk there? And just now I realized, oh yeah, I have to wait for the bubble. Anyway, use Iron Man and use his laser to hit these golden, I don't know, scales, I guess, on the octopus, squid, whatever it is. It can be a little bit annoying because those golden things like to move, but it's not really too bad. Just try to follow it to the best of your ability, you'll be able to get it. And once the octopus gives up, it will slither back into its hole and use Spider-Man's Spidey Sense to pull the pillar down. And after this, there's only a few more things you're going to have to do to free the submarine, and that will be it for this level. about you just open the hatch. Oh, really? With the banging? Really? Hey Doc, why do you need all those cosmic bricks? I don't share my plans with insects. How about a god then? <laughs> 